All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about this movable kitchen island. And I'm gonna break down the parts that I really like about it and some of the issues I had, um, most specifically setting it up, which was not amazing. With that being said, it does have a lot of positives, so I'm gonna walk you through it, show you the, the different pieces and kind of the size comparison. Now, first of all, this is a movable kitchen island, so you can see how I can roll it around. It does come with four wheels that you can lock into place, so they just have a little knob on them. You do kind of have to get down on the gr ground to kind of lock them. You could use your foot, but it, it's pretty hard to find the right position. So it can lock into place and be stationary. I love having this in the middle of my kitchen because now I can do my prep work in the middle here and have just an extra place to put things on. But it does have some other benefits, including on both sides, two different functions. So this first side here, let me grab the camera. So this first side here has a perfect little handle, chrome handle for your uh, cloths, right? Your towels, whatever you need, your wet rags. You could probably, well, you can't really put on a paper towel uh, here because you'd have to undo the whole thing. But either way, for towels, it's perfect. Now on this other side, or on the front side, let's go to first, it does have a very large front facing drawer. So you can see right here, we could put in cutlery, we could put in knives, we could put in, um, you know, spatulas, Whatever you want to put in here, perfect little storage container. Spices would be a good spot right here as well. And then on the bottom here, it has two pretty big shelves where you can fit all sorts of kitchen appliances, other small things that you have to move around. And they are they do magnetically close. You can see my cat there trying to go at it. So they do close shut. And I do find they're a little weak with that magnet. So it does seem like it does have a chance of opening up fairly easily with just a shake. And on this other side, I love this little section here. Now it has this wheel as well, but here you could have tons of different spices, uh, cooking ingredients that you, that you use more often, stuff like that. Just a perfect little placement shelf on the side. And then on the back, we just have a bit of a weak backing to it, but it's all put together with nails there, so it's not bad. Now let's talk about some of the negatives. Right away, this thing was not fun to put together. The instructions were pretty confusing. Um, and honestly, there were parts that I damaged just because they didn't have proper placements and it was hard to understand. So here you can see I kind of damaged it by putting in uh, one of the screws there. Now it's not it's not very noticeable, and but the point is, is it, because how frustrating it was to put together. You don't always know which piece is supposed to go where. With that being said, it's clear enough you can get it together. I'm not the handiest person, but I was still able to complete it. And honestly, the functionality is great. The overall quality and color is pretty good. Just a few blemishes from me putting it together. 